Hello everyone and welcome to Van Touch Corner. In today's tutorial, we are going to install OpenVPN server on our OpenWRT router. And for this tutorial, we will be using the command line interface to configure it. And I know that command line may not familiar with all of you, but I will try to do it step by step so that you can follow it and set up your own OpenVPN server. So let's get started. And the very first step, let's establish an SSH connection to our OpenWRT router. Right, so I will just open it. So this is our Putty's application. And I will be connect to our OpenWRT router, which is test VBN. And the default port will be 22. So in your case, it will be your maybe 192.168.1.1, for example, right? So I will just log into the router, root and the password. Right, so now we are inside the OpenWRT router. Okay, so this is the guide and I will put this guide in the video description. So the very first step, we need to update the package database. Alright, so we're done and let's install OpenVBN SSL and OpenVBN Easy RSA. Just copy it. Alright, so you may ask me how do you configure that. So let me just do it. Alright, so right click on this, select copy, and then go back to your command line and right click and it should automatically paste the content. After that, you just need to press enter. And actually, you can just copy and paste all of it in one, but yep, we just copy it one by one. All right, so copy that and then right click here on our interface. Right, good. All right, so these are the configuration parameters for the OpenVBN, like the directory, the PKI file, and the device and we're using the tunnels and the port and the protocols and the pool and the DNS server. So you can use the DNS server from the OpenWRT or you can select your own DNS server and this is your domain. So this will be the step when we get the public IP for your router. And in my case, I have already my own domain and the IP address so I will just skip that and I will just put my own right so it will be testvpn.pw right hit enter and I just skip this part once we're done with the basics configuration we need to set up our PKI file and yep you can just copy this first and then paste in right so let's initial the pki and then you need to generate the dh file all right so this is going to take a long time it can take up to 10 minutes if you are using the normal open the brt router all right so the next step let's create a new ca Then we're going to build the server full key. All right, we're done. And generate a key pair and assign locally for the client. And let's generate the key file for our second client. Yep, we just need to change it. And then also our third client because we have multiple device, right? So when we done, in my case, I manually copy the line one by one because I want to set up 
three client on this open VPN server. But if you just want to set up only one client and one server at the first time, then you can just copy the whole script and then just pay on your command line, right? So when we done, let do some of the configuration with our firewall. And basically we are going to create our tuner and then we are assigning a new firewall zone and a new firewall rule to allow the inbound traffic from the one interface to our OpenWRT router. Let's copy that, paste and press enter. And then UCI commit firewall. So this command will make the change to the firewall configurations and this command will restart the firewall. Once we're done, let's go to here, this, copy all of this. So this line will generate the OpenVBN configuration file and the OpenVBN client file. And in my case, I have generate three client files. So we will have three OpenVBN client. Look great. So we have our trees open VPN client. So client.ovpn, client2.ovpn, and client3.ovpn. All right. So let me see what is inside this open VPN. All right, so check cat. All right. Okay, just copy this. All right, and then just open any like files and a new maybe text document. So client does OVPN, yes, and then edit it with maybe not paste. All right, so just copy it and paste, and boom, you have your first client. Or you can use an FPT server or SFCP to transfer your client file to your local computers and then you can manually import it. We have done with the first client and let's import it to our OpenVPN. Alright, so this is my OpenVPN and right click on it, import file. After that, navigate to my client.ovpn file and click open and the file imported successfully right so let's just establish the connections right the client is now connected we have successfully set up the open vpn server and established the connection to it and now let's do a test to confirm that the setup is fully working. So let me just open the command line and then I will be doing a trade route to openwrt.org. I'm sorry, on window we need to run tradert. And we see that the packet had been sent to our OpenWRT server gateway, which is good. All right, so if you scroll over here, we see that this is our open VBN server, which is 192.168.a. And after that, what can we do? Well, we can install the open VBN Lucy app on our router to manage it with the OpenWRT is Lucy web page, or you can do some further tuning, and this is the link to it. Right, so just insert it. And if you want to manage your OpenVPN instance on Lucy, you need to run the below command. So Right click, hit enter, and right click and hit enter. 
I think we're done with the command line and let's log into our routers, Lucy Pay, and see what is inside. And as you can see, we have a new section which is VBN and Open VBN. So let's just go to it. So in this Open VBN page, you can check your Open VBN instance and you can see their status or the port and the protocol and either you you want to stop or start them and if you click on edit you can see your open vpn server configuration file and you can copy all of this file and paste it somewhere maybe you can make a backup of it and later on if you want to set up another vpn server on somewhere else you can just copy and paste these configurations let's back to open vpn instant and you can see we have one server running and you can set up another second open VPN server but you need to config a different tuner for it and you need to config a different port as well and on the status system log you can see some of the log for the open VPN server so let's just go over here to this and you will see some of the uh, open VPN servers. So if you want to have some troubleshoot of the open VPN servers, you can check on the system log. And what next? You can do a lot of stuff like the key management, the statics address, and the side to side connection, and sleep gateway, and all this stuff. And you can combine this tutorial with my previous tutorial on how to set up an open VPN client on OpenWRT router and you can do a side-to-side -side VPN connections, right? And that's on the way. If you have any questions or any comment, feel free to leave it in the comment section. I will try my best to check and answer and support you as long as I can. And once again, thanks for watching the video and if you see it's helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel to support me. And this is Van from Van Touch Corner. Thanks and see you again.